The fauna of New Zealand is a respected reference for entomologists worldwide. First published in 1982, it had been several years in the planning. Series editor Trevor Crosby explains. It was to make available in one area, one series, what is known about the New Zealand invertebrate fauna, mainly insects. Up to then, there are many monographic revisions done, often though published in different scientific journals. So it became, you couldn't go to one place and say, where do I go to first to check out whether, what's the latest information available about a group. So the idea of the fauna was, like many countries, is to have a one source where people could go to. When you look at for the whole range of information available, you're looking for authoritative information. And that's what we've set up for the fauna series, is to be a source of authoritative information. Highly regarded the world over, the fauna titles are not only commissioned, but also tap into the lifelong work of some of its contributors. Yeah, effectively, we're providing an avenue for specialists to be able to come forward and contribute anything from one to three or four contributions in a year. And there's though some people are approached about doing a fauna on a particular group, we are tapping into the existing work being done and expertise and making sure that's then as much as possible published in the series. The latest in the series is number 65, Lichen Tuft Moths, authored by Robert Hoare. Robert explains his part in producing the fauna series and why he chose these particular moths. Um, well, this is really the sort of main part of our work, is to revise the New Zealand uh, insect fauna, group by group, and um, mainly producing these very detailed uh, monographs on these particular groups of interest. And uh, my predecessor had um, written a list of um, butterflies and moth groups that he thought were um, appropriate to, to work on at the moment, given our state of knowledge. And um, so the Ecophoridae was the family that I, that I chose to work on. And it's particularly that, that group that I chose because um, they'd been worked on very recently in Australia by, by Ian Common, who'd devoted many years to, to looking at them. So it was of interest to, to see what the New Zealand fauna was like in comparison to that. And they are, in fact, a very diverse group here, um, as they are in Australia. So an important component of our, of our fauna. And Robert says that the fauna is not only of interest to scientists and conservationists. One would hope that, that um, the general public might be interested in, in, in many of these as well. Certainly in the, in the longer term, once um, some of these works have been perhaps translated into um, more popular field guides. I think I see that as the ultimate sort of goal of my work, is that once you've actually revised the fauna and worked out what the species are, then those species can be included in the more popular guides, and that'll get more people interested in, in um, some of these aspects of our biodiversity. Fauna of New Zealand is available from Manaki Whenua Press. For more information, go to www.mwpress.co.nz.